Hey guys, what's up? It's your friend Keith at Essex Recording Studios. Today I've got a super cool video of a fake, fake, spurious, not real, illegitimate ESP Kirk Hammett Ouija board guitar. Oh my goodness, this thing is totally illegal. Well, we've got that and we've got the real deal KH2 neck through right next to it side by side. So no, it's not Ouija for Ouija, but it is the exact same guitar. They're both neck through models. And other than the finish and inlays, it's the same thing. So we'll put them side by side, as you see here, and we'll go over the telltale signs. Frankly, there's quite a bit on this guitar that is good as far as the looks department goes. Um, hardware and playing and everything else like that, it's a different story. Uh, I have no idea what these pickups are. I'm not going to bother unscrewing it. Frankly, this thing is just a painting on the wall at the studio that if someone bumps into it, they didn't destroy the $10,000 white Ouija guitar. These things go for crazy money, the real thing. I think they only made 50 of them. But anyway, so straight away, we got this guitar. How do we know it's fake? The Floyd Rose. There's nothing going on right here. It's blank. It does say licensed by Floyd Rose. I think here, what does it say? License under Floyd Road patents, pats. But you would never see that on the real thing. You don't even see it on the, uh, the Korean model, the 602s. Floyd Rose, that's what it should say. None of this, you know, this is where it should be blank. No licensed under anything there. It's the real deal. Okay. Um, the pickups, I suppose you wouldn't really be able to tell on the real Ouija board. You'd have to open them up because the graphic is painted over. Um, I don't have a real one in front of me. These are very white. This is kind of a dull off-white. I'm not sure how it would work. I do know EMG makes white pickups like this um, in this finish. The graphic... Looks fine. They, I don't think they've spelt anything wrong. It actually looks really cool. The binding can get a bit, uh, you know, this black binding is just paint. And there's probably some spots. I don't know if we can see any. Uh, if you look really up close, you can see it's little imperfections and stuff like that. It might get a little bit wavy in some spots, but overall, I mean, it looks really good. The inlays um, seem to be the real deal. These aren't stickers, and it looks like a pretty good job. You know, again, for what you can pay for these, um, it's kind of scary when you see the price difference between this Chinese fake and the real deal. And then you've got the reverse headstock here. You've got a tiny little uh, Kirk Hammett signature. You can see on the E, like that's all jacked up there. But to be honest, I've seen older ESPs in the gold where it's a bit flaky and stuff. But this should give you a good example, good idea of what the counterfeits look like up close in person. And I'm sure there are some cheeky buggers out there who uh, would buy something like this from Alibaba, from one of these Chinese websites, and then walk it into their local pawn shop and be like, oh, you know, my, my buddy died and left this to me in his will. Uh, I don't know anything about this. I just know it's expensive. And, uh, yeah, some pawnbroker who isn't savvy is going to get ripped off. Because this thing, it only gets scarier when you flip it around. Um, when you go over here, look at this. It's got the whole uh, K serial number. It's got the Ouija is a trademark of, of Hasbro. It's got all that right stuff. ESP Custom Shop right there. Scary. 
here's what the wood looks like. So you've got a uh, scarf joint there. Looks maple. You actually see like very, very light dots everywhere. Almost like very light bird's eye type pattern. But you don't get that nice quarter sawn pattern. You know, and this is all up here. This is all one piece of wood. The tuners are just generic. There's no print on it. Uh, the fakes come with cobwebs as well, as you can see. That's from hanging up on the wall. Um, it does have the little kind of V thing there that the real ones have. I've got the back plate off so you can see what they look like. It's all butchered to hell in there. The routing, you know, it just looks like crap. Cheap brush job, as you would expect. You know, we're selling illegal guitars. We don't have all sorts of time for attention to detail. Okay. Now when we go over to the real one, let's see here. I'm going to flip this over again. Um, oh yeah, there's some like cheap black binding on the side of the guitar that's kind of painted. Just painted on the fretboard. Um, you can see in there. Nothing too fabulous. Yeah, all those rough edges in there in the tremolo cavity. Um, okay. And then in this one, you can see how the walls are all smooth on the tremolo cavity. You can see that there's no cheap painted on binding on the fretboard. Of course, again, this is a different model. There's no binding on it at all. Um, the bridge, like we discussed, the knobs. Let's see if there's any difference here. These knobs are, aren't are reflective or anything like that. They've actually got a decent feel to them. They're very, very weighty. These are much more easy to turn. Yeah, these turn. These feel good. These feel like they've got 30 pound weights on the bottom of them. Yeah. Um, headstock shape. It's kind of a, a dead giveaway. Look at the reverse headstock shape here. Can we zoom in please, focus, there we go. And look at it there. It's elongated, it's just a little bit exaggerated. Um, Yeah, there you go. Not the real deal. You can see the angle here is all wrong. It's exaggerated. It should be going up like that. This piece is looks a bit long and exaggerated there as well. Yeah, angle's wrong. Um, aside from that, you know, everything else it is just a piece of wood at the end of the day. It's not, not too tough to counterfeit. But like when you look at the wood on the neck of this, look at all of the, you can see light flaming going on. You can see all of the Texture, I guess, from the quarter sawn, maple neck, all this grain detail in there. You know, you can see it's a 
you know, that's a piece of wood, that's a piece of wood, and then there's another one here. I think it's a, is it a five piece in total? Yeah, because then you've got another one there and one there. So it's like one, two, three, four, five. Five piece neck versus, I guess, a one piece with a scarf joint and then a one piece headstock. So that's a dead giveaway. Um, signature series custom shop, the circle is thicker. The font is a bit crisper. This says signature series because it's a newer one, but that's something you notice straight away. I don't know. I know on the ones that have uh, signatures for the black normal KH2s, those signatures are way bigger than that, but maybe on the Ouija board edition, it's smaller. I'm not sure. But there's enough wrong with this one that having seen both side by side, you can see what the deal is. You know, that that wood is just completely different. Than that no scarf joint. Much smaller circle too. Custom shop there. Circle's bigger. Made in Japan. I've never seen Made in Japan printed on. I've only seen it as a sticker like that. And then you can see here's the real Goto tuners. And just blank, fake, fake crap. Does that there. And that's what it's really supposed to look like. Cool guys. Well, um, aside from that, oh, that's kind of interesting. Look at the screw pattern on the control cover here. Goes two, two, two. This is one, two, one up there. Hmm. Oh, uh, and then the, uh, Screws here on the back are inside the cavity here. So there'll be a bevel, whereas this is on the, the body. So that's different. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Thanks for watching the video, guys. I hope it's useful. I hope it has saved you if you're a pawn shop owner from giving some drug addict a ton of money. And if you do appreciate this video, please click subscribe. I want more subscribers on this channel. We need a thousand of them. Also, Instagram, we're at Essex Recording Studios. And on Facebook, I need a big fat like from you guys on our recording studio webpage. It's at Essex Recording Studios. Cool. Many more videos coming your way today, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.